Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please join me and today you will see how to crochet simple hat. For work I will use 4.5 mm crochet hook and a ball of wool yarn. I will begin from the brim part. For this make a chain of 4. 3 of them are for the chains to bring up the yarn. 1 two, three, four. Then make double crochet on the chain, yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the first chain stitch, pull up a loop, pull through first loop, then pull through two loops twice. Like this. Yarn over the hook, Insert the hook into the chain stitch that I did before. I insert the hook into two loops. Make a chain and double crochet. Yarn over the hook. Insert the hook into the chain. Pull up a loop, pull through first loop, pull through two loops twice. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the chain, pull up a loop, pull through first loop, pull through two loops. It is very elastic method, so it could be perfect to create anything. Here what I have. Keep working in this way till the end of this row. I have done my first row. It is very elastic and simple in the same time. This is the back side. It could be perfect for anything. In my case it is head. Also you can create the first row to crochet and bend. And right now I show you how to join two sides together. Continue. This is my second piece. I put it. Before the joining I check it. It shouldn't be twisted. In total it should be 80 stitches. One of them is chains to bring up the yarn. And 79 stitches. I have got 70 eight stitches and while doing the last one I'm going to join insert the hook into the chain stitch pull up a loop insert the hook into the chain stitch from the back Pull up a loop, pull through first loop, pull through two loops twice. Then insert the hook into the third chain stitch in the beginning of this round by making a slip stitch. My first round is ready. And now I will show you how to crochet the brim part of the head. In total it should be 80 stitches, 79 stitches plus chains. And right now I show you the ready project. Today I will show you how to crochet simple head. My head consists of two parts. This is the brim part and the straight part. I started from the first round that I created recently. Then I will show you how to crochet one by one rib and pattern consists of two stitches and has one row. Then you will see how to crochet the straight part of the head. I will work by spiral direction and pattern consists of two stitches. 
you can wear it differently i will show you at the end of this video tutorial and let's look at the back side so next time i will show you how to crochet two by two rib for this project you can use your favorite color of yarn and your favorite crochet hook and by the end of the work you will get amazing project let's crochet the brim part so now i show you how to crochet one by one rib it is going to be one by one rib pattern make back post single crochet and chain of two to bring up the yarn i will begin all rows in this way so make back post single crochet and chain of two instead of first back post double crochet make front post double crochet around the next stitch then back post double crochet around the next stitch front post double crochet around the next stitch back post double crochet front post double crochet back post double crochet so keep working in this way till the end of this row then i will show you how to complete it i'm about to complete this round after i have done the last front post double crochet to complete this round work with the slip stitch into the second stitch on the beginning of this round my round is ready and i will show you how to start the next row and then you should continue working with your own make back post single crochet chain of two to bring up the yarn then make front post around the front post and back post around the back post double crochet make front post double crochet front post double crochet back post double crochet front one then back post double crochet make front post double crochet so you should repeat as many times as you need for your brim part like this and to complete this round work with a slip stitch that's it my brim part is ready let's measure it it is seven centimeters and you can stop at this stage and you will get amazing cute ear warmer i will do one more round i will add some stitches in the next round i have got 80 stitches i will add 10 stitches so i will add into the each eighth stitch back post single crochet chain of two to bring up the yarn i remind you i'm doing this instead of back post double crochet one two three four five six seven and eight i have done eight stitches make front post double crochet one more time around this stitch so i did front post double crochet twice continue let's count one two three four five six 
four, five, six, seven, and eight. And one more around this stitch. It is very easy to make. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. In total, you should add 10 stitches. I'm about to complete this round. This round was with increase. I added 10 stitches. To complete this round, work with a slip stitch into the second chain stitch on the beginning of this round. Let's crochet the main pattern. It is very easy to make. Pattern consists of two stitches and has one round. I'm gonna to work by spiral direction. Make a chain, pull a little bit. I will not use it. Make single crochet into the stitch that I did a slip stitch into. I move back, insert the hook into the previous stitch, pull up a loop. Pull through two loops. I made single crochet. I skip the next stitch, insert the hook into the next stitch, make single crochet. And work into the stitch that was skipped before, make single crochet. Make single crochet into the second stitch and single crochet into the previous stitch. It is very easy to make. Make single crochet into the second stitch and single crochet into the previous stitch. Here what I have. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Pattern consists of two stitches and has one round. I'm going to work by spiral direction. Let's complete this round with me. I remind you my pattern consists of two stitches and has one round. I am working by spiral direction. And there is the third top. And here is the second top. And now I show you how to move to the next round. I did. I skip this stitch, insert the hook into the next stitch and make single crochet. Let's crochet the next round. And work with the previous stitch and make single crochet into the previous stitch. I skip at this stitch, insert the hook into the this stitch. Like this. I skip this stitch, insert the hook into the second stitch, make single crochet and single crochet into the previous stitch. Insert the hook into the second stitch. Make single crochet and insert the hook into the previous stitch. It is very easy to make pattern. You don't need special skills. You just need to know how to crochet single crochet stitches. Then keep working in this way till the end of this row. Then I will show you how to crochet the next one. You can choose your favorite color of yarn and your favorite crochet hook. Let's complete this row with me. Or actually how to continue working by spiral direction. Let's repeat. I skip the first stitch, insert the hook into the second stitch, make single crochet and single crochet into the previous stitch. Skip the first stitch, insert the hook into the second stitch, make single crochet and single crochet into the previous stitch. 
work with the second stitch single crochet and single crochet into the previous stitch like this so keep working in this way till the end of this row as many times as you need for your head i am done the straight part of the head now i measure it i have got 24 centimeters for me it's enough and at this point i will show you how to complete my swatch as you can see i didn't remove my yarn this is the level of the not visible seam because in the each time i move up insert the hook into the top make a slip stitch and i have already cut off my yarn then i turn it to the back side of the head this is the back side of the head here how it looks this is the seam so i remove leftovers yarn along the stitches and now I show you how to sew two sides together. For this, I'm using the yarn in the same color and sew a needle. I took the yarn through the needle already. And let's get started sewing. I insert the sewing needle and make, make a stitch. I leave a long piece of yarn. I'm going to sew two sides together instead of making my crown. With the needle go through the stitches like this. With the needle go through the stitches. And pull it like this pull them one more time and with a needle go through the stitches So you should sew in this way till the end of this row. I remind you this is the back side of the head. Here is my seam. This is the top part of the head. Are not visible on the both sides. You can divide your head on two parts and count stitches. Or you can measure it. I will mark the middle part of the top. I mark it. And here what I have at this point. Then I put in this way. You can use crochet hook or sewing needle in this way. I put the small piece of yarn through the needle. I remove the stitch marker and sew one side to the middle part like this. It is going to be the corner. And let's make the second corner. I remind you, you can use the crochet hook. For me, more comfortable using the sewing needle. So I will sew from the opposite side. like this 
pull it. Also, you can make a knot or you can sew one more time or two times. I will sew two or three times. And I remind you, you can remove all yarns along the stitches. Or you can move all yarns to the front side and to sew pompon to the top part. And I remind you, you can decorate your head using the crochet flowers, sleeves or another accessories for winter time. In my case, I just remove all yarns along the stitches. This is the front side of my head. Here how it looks when you are done. I remind you, you can decorate it using flowers, leaves and another motifs from another my video tutorials. You can wear it like this or you can fold the brim part. Next time you will see how it looks on the mannequin. I remind you for this project you can choose any kind of yarn and any crochet hook that you like to create your personal project. Let's measure my head. I measure my head to show you the size. My brim part consists of one by one rib. It is a little bit stretchy, so it could be perfect if you crochet very strong in the brim part. It is 22 centimeters, but it is a little bit stretchy and it could be more. It is 30 centimeters, could be. So in total, the volume could be 60 centimeters. Let's measure the height. I remind you, you can sew the pompon to the top part. It is 23 centimeters. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me in social media and good luck in crocheting. And next time you will see how it looks on the mannequin. You can ear it like this. Also, you can fold the brim part and wear it like a simple head. This perfect this project could be perfect for beginners because you don't need special skills and you just need to know basic stitches such as single crochet and front post and back post double crochet stitches. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.